Hey guys, welcome to your 10th Beginner's Java tutorial. And in this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you something called the switch statement. And I know everything we've been learning so far has been kind of useless um, in the sense that we haven't been doing anything with it. So I promise next tutorial we're going to be building our first program with methods and uh, if for statements, all that kind of stuff. But before we do that, I'm just going to be teaching you the switch statement. Now, what the switch statement does is that you give it a, you give it one thing, uh, preferably, well, in our case, we'll be using a number. But you give it one thing, and if, depending on, you know what, it's, it's hard to explain, so I'm just going to show you. So, to write a switch statement, you write switch, and then open your parameters and open your block. Now, in switch, you have cases, and in the case of a certain thing, it will execute a certain command. And to start off, I'm going to make an integer called number, and it's going to be equal to 10, or actually, it's going to be equal to 1. And in switch, we test for what case we want it to execute. So I'm going to write num. And now we program our switch statement. So we write we write case and then we start at one. Or is it well you can start anywhere, but we're gonna start at one. And then you put a colon and then you hit enter and you tell it something to do. So we're gonna say system out print line and we're just gonna simply say um one and that's what we're gonna do. And now if this if the case is one in other words, if number is equal to 1, it's going to execute this, and we don't want it to bother doing the rest. So we're going to say break, and that simply means break out of the loop and don't do anything else. Uh, now we're going to program some more cases. Case 2, and I'm going to say system out print line, and we'll just say 2. Now I'm just going to, oh, and we'll break as well, break out of the loop. Now we'll copy these. like this, case 3, case 4, and change these to 3 and 4. Now, if uh, I'll tell you what's going to happen first, when we run this, we will see, we, when we run this, number is equal to 1, so it will do the case 1, and it will display the number 1. And then it will break out of the loop, and none of the others will be executed. So if we press run, we can see the number one. Hooray! Now there's a couple of other things in the switch statement which I'm going to show you and that is setting multiple statements at once. So say we wanted case if if say we wanted it to do the same thing if the case was two, three or four. We simply we're going to delete this first of all. Uh, first we write case two. Oops, what's going on? Case two, there we go with a space and then we're going to hit enter and we're going to write case 3 and then we're going to write case 4 and then we're going to tell it to do something system out print line num num equals 2 3 or 4 so and then we'll break so now if we run this we can see it's still 1 because um, num is equal to 1. If we change num to 2 and we run it, we can see num is equal to 2, 3, or 4. And I'm pretty sure you know what's going to happen if we change it to 3 or 4. Come on, there we go. And if we change it to 4... Okay, but now what happens if the number is not equal to any of them? Let's say 5. If we run this here now, uh, nothing's going to happen. So what we need to do, we need to set something called the default. And the default will run if none of the other statements um, are true or meet the requirements. So to write a default statement, you simply write default. Um, default, and then a colon, and we're going to say system out print line. And we're going to say number is above 4, because we only handle up to the case of it being 4. And then we break. 
And if we run this, we can see number is above 4 because our number is equal to 5. Now, uh, that's it for this tutorial. This was just a quick tutorial on the switch statement. Um, I hope you learned something. Practice this switch statement. Make sure you understand it. Please feel free to ask any questions in the comment section or send me a message. Um, please subscribe and I will see you guys next time where, we'll, where we will be building our first proper program.